Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Solar Trip here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you leaderboards and how you guys can set leaderboards up inside of your Minecraft realm to make your Minecraft realm look a little bit more competitive or just to show the top players on a scoreboard in a nice way inside of your realm. So, as you guys can see, I've got a kills leaderboard here, and if I go to scoreboard, players, and I add at s kills and I give myself 50 more kills you guys can see it updates straight away and goes to 55 but if I was to take away 20 kills as you guys can see it has taken away 20 and gone down to 35 now you can have a maximum of 10 players on this leaderboard and you guys can set that depending on what leaderboard you set up to have either five, three, or any amount of players on the leaderboard. A maximum is 10, but you guys can set it to whatever you want when you're setting up the leaderboard. So to set up the leaderboard, make sure you have the admin tag, and then you guys want to grab a compass. You guys can change this inside of the index.js file. You guys wanna hold out a compass and stand where you want your leaderboard to be so I want my leaderboard here now I'm going to open up the leaderboard admin menu using the compass from here we can create a leaderboard we can remove a leaderboard and we can edit existing leaderboards and I'll show you these two in just a second but let's click on create leaderboard from here you want to enter a scoreboard name so I'm going to enter my scoreboard name called money now for the leaderboard name, make sure you do not put the exact same as the scoreboard. Make sure you add maybe a space to this or uh, maybe call it top money or something like that. Or you guys can just add a nice little color to it. So I'm going to add a nice dark green to it just like so. Then for the leader leaderboard max users, this is how many is going to be displayed on your leaderboard. You, as you guys can see, you can set it from either one all the way up to 10 as a maximum. So I'm gonna put seven, for example, and then we're gonna tick this to make sure that the leaderboard gets created at my current location. Then I'm going to click on submit. And as you guys can see, it has created a leaderboard here and it says money leaderboard and it says SIW Solus and it's showing the amount of money I have on my money leaderboard. Now, if I wanted to change, say, the money leaderboard to, say, cash leaderboard, if we open up this and we click on edit leaderboard, as you guys can see, we've got our kills leaderboard and the location of it. We've got the money location so the money scoreboard location and if we click on that we can change this and we can put this to cash for example and let's say we want 10 people on there now and we don't want to tick this because if we tick this it's going to then set the money scoreboard to our current location and we don't want that we want it to stay where it is now if we click on submit as you guys can see it updated to cash leaderboard now, if I didn't want this cash leaderboard, I can click on remove leaderboard. I can click on cash. And as you guys can see, it has now disappeared and it is gone. And that is how you guys use the leaderboards. Now, let's show you how you can get your hands on these scripts and get them inside of your pack. The first thing you want to do is go down in my description below and click on my GitHub link. From here, you wanna click on my repositories. Then you wanna click on free scripts. Then you guys wanna click on leaderboards. From here, you will see a leaderboards behavior pack and a leaderboards resource pack. Download the leaderboards resource pack and then click on leaderboards P. From here, there's an entities folder that you guys want to download and add to your behavior pack. Then we're going to go inside of the scripts folder. 
from here we've got a database.js and we've got an index.js you guys want to copy and paste both of these inside of your visual studio so let's open up visual studio code and inside of your scripts folder you guys want to make a leaderboards folder inside of your leaderboards folder that's where you want to put your database.js and your index.js make sure database.js is lowercase and index.js is all lowercase as well then you guys want to go to your manifest.json from here find your entry file mine is scripts.js at uh, main.js inside of the scripts folder so if we go to the scripts folder and go to main.js inside here you want to import the index.js inside of your leaderboards folder then your index.js will import the database.js from here if you keep them in the same folder that's why i told you to keep it inside of a leaderboards folder then guys there's only one thing that you really need to change inside of here is the minecraft item that you want to be able to trigger uh, opening the leaderboards admin menu and the admin tag so if you change this to say staff then they will need the staff tag to open up the leaderboards menu and that is pretty much it guys that's it set up it's super super simple and a very quick video on how you guys can set up the leaderboards scripts inside of your minecraft realm slash world now i always say this but make sure beta apis are turned on inside of your world inside of experiments so if we go down here and look at experiments you guys see beta apis have been turned on make sure beta apis are turned on but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching if this video has helped you or if you have any issues just let me know in the comments down below but don't forget to like this video if it has helped you subscribe to the channel for more script videos i usually go in depth but this one there's really nothing to go in depth about um it's just some entities displaying uh some dynamic properties and scoreboards but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching it's b-boy solace